The partnership with the Tobin is aiming to integrate the arts into the core curriculum in an authentic way. It will enrich the learning process and the retention levels of the content will improve because the students will be actively engaged in creating something and most importantly creating meaning through the art integration process. I am part of the original arts integration cohort that was partnered with the Tobin that started last year, uh, which makes me a teacher leader for my campus and the district. I have the honor of completing some PD for the district this summer and teaching about biography through portraiture. It's very exciting to host this new cohort where they're going to get a deeper dive into the arts integration program so that they can incorporate that into their new STEAM campuses. Teachers spent the morning with me at the Tobin Center learning how to look, how to think, how to talk about art so that art can be integrated into their subject areas to help students construct their understanding of science or social studies or reading. Um, we also worked with students in a classroom while the teachers could observe so that the teachers are better prepared to go back to their own classrooms and lead the lessons that I led with them and the students. As a nonprofit organization, it's really important to the Tobin Center's mission to have an education program. And one of the things that we wanted to do when we opened in September of 2014 was to forge a new path in arts education here in San Antonio, so to fill a gap that wasn't being filled. And so we found a great partnership with Northeast Independent School District and the Kennedy Center Partners in Education program to bring professional development for classroom teachers to San Antonio with a focus on arts integration. Today I've been really focusing on how visual art is a way for students to construct their understanding and many other workshops have been drama or music or dance which is another way to demonstrate understanding. So the arts often are a way to really engage students in learning because it accesses many multiple modalities. Um, when students are engaged, they learn, they remember, and they want to be at school. If you're able to um, see the details in your head and not just look at a picture, but you're able to see the details in the picture, why is this object a certain color, or why is the sky looking this way, or why is the per person sitting instead of standing, then you're already getting more details in your head, and then those details just become part of what you do, part of how you talk, and then part of how you write. By integrating the arts into STEM and making it STEAM, it's going to create an even more well-rounded student, and Northeast goal of having the 360 student will be realized through these actions. It'll allow students with artistic abilities and talents and students who had no idea they had artistic abilities and talents to show their knowledge through these different mediums. It's also a way to teach us, just like, it's very like educational while being fun at the same time. And that's the type of learning that I really like. I like to use my body to remember vocabulary because once you do it with your body, um, you, it's easier to remember. Arts integration is a great tool that not only introduces students to different arts and art forms, but it's a tool that teachers can use to teach core curriculum. And you see great results across the country in academic success of students using arts integration. So we're really excited about the impact that it can have here in San Antonio. Each time we bring in a Kennedy Center artist, we're told this is the best one yet. This is, this is the best new tool that we've seen. So we hope to just keep bringing in different teaching artists with different tools and, and uh, provide these great ways for teachers to sort of build out how they're using arts integration in their classroom.